man, happy holidays, guys. No matter what you're about to celebrate, it's happening. We got a tree up. We got the first of the gifts already wrapped and put under there. We're getting there. We're almost ready. Yep, right in front of the fireplace, because that's safe, because we live in Florida, and we never, we never have a reason to have a fire, do we? What's up, party people? Oh my goodness, what's going on? Oh man, I hope anybody who celebrates holidays of any kind uh, is having a good holiday, and if you don't celebrate holidays, I hope the holidays aren't getting too annoying for you. Um, perspective is everything. But, so yeah, I hope you're having a great season. Um, I hope the seasonal depression is not whooping your butt. I know it gets to a lot of people. If you if you are having a hard time, I hope you find strength. And, and man, I know when the sun goes away for a couple months and, like, it's all about family and everything, it can be hard on a lot of people. But um, other than the, the seasonal crap, we've got a lot going on. I just... Uh, I, I told you about the goggles that I ordered from my friend with the 3D printer. He's, I'm probably going to have him modify a pair for me specifically. That way I'm not necessarily working with someone else's design because I feel like that's kind of, it's their job to sell them, you know, not mine. But, um, but yeah, I'm doing remixes of other people's designs right now. I'm just kind of like mix and matching the lenses and everything using my own lenses instead of the recommended lenses. Um, uh, an original nose bridge design I usually just wrap it with wire or link some chain links together uh, the story's going kind of good I didn't do too bad for Christmas I, I just found out Etsy offers health insurance and it's not a thing I can afford yet but it's gonna be and I can't wait cuz keys I need them bad I miss chewing stuff and smiling in photos without people laughing That'd be cool. Not that I'm, like, the most vain person. I mean, maybe I would be with teeth, and it's, like, a blessing. I mean, really, it's kind of a superpower to not have teeth, because then really shallow guys don't tend to hit on you. Except for sometimes the ones that do act like you're they're doing you a favor. Like, I actually think you're attractive. And that's something, um, uh... Little Bear mentioned, and shout out to Little Bear, I freaking love you, girl. Um, making bearded ladies more visible, one post at a time. Uh, she's an amazingly talented woman. But she mentioned that, like, a lot of guys act like they're doing you a favor and that you owe them something for them thinking you're attractive, and it's like, no, I am attractive. If I'm the bomb, are you kidding? I just don't have teeth. If I had teeth, watch out. I'm way too cool for teeth, I guess. I don't know. But they got knocked out through a multitude of blunt trauma experiences, some of which involved skateboards and walls and a lot of gravity. I got all hopped up on gravity, and then it whooped my butt. Like, that's pretty much what happened. Wear a helmet. If you're going to skate, what can I say? And if you're not wearing a helmet and you think you're a badass and you're too cool to wear a helmet, guess what? It might give you some self-conscious issues later on. So, I don't I don't know. I uploaded a video earlier and it was just kind of like intense, I guess, because it got me my first hate comment. Woo! I'm actually stoked on that. Like, I've never gotten a hate comment on YouTube before. I don't think people who don't know me often click on my channel. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, leave me a comment. If you if you don't know me and you just found my channel online somewhere, like, let me know. Because right now, I think it's pretty much just friends, family, followers from Facebook that are clicking on links. And, I mean, I do have some fans. I have some people that, like... Just added me because they think I'm cool. And now we're mutual fans. We're each other's fans. Like, I think they're really awesome, too. And it's not just because I think they have good taste because they think I'm cool. You know, I mean, that definitely a bonus. But whatever. <laughs> it's not just because they have good taste in people. It's because they have good taste in everything, okay? But, uh, yeah. I hope you're having an awesome season. And if you're not... If there were, one time a woman said this to me, and I'm going to say it to you now in hopes that it has the same effect. She completely changed my entire night with these words. 
you have been a great source of strength to me so many times without knowing it. And if there were any way that I could return the favor, I would do so right now. If I knew the magic words to give you strength, I would do it. Anybody who isn't having a hard time, lend a little bit of love to the rest of us. Uh, it's a really hectic time of year. A lot of people are in a rush. They're just rude people. The, the traffic is insane now here. I mean, I live in Florida. So the winter time, you know, I live right near the villages. And uh, it gets really busy. We have a lot of snowbirds. And the dynamic of the, the town changes a little bit. And it can get stressful just fluxing back and forth and back and forth between those two dynamics. And, I mean, we need it. It's There's a lot of seasonal work here. There's a lot of, there are a lot of events that employ people seasonally. And it's a good thing, you know. But I realize that not everybody celebrates life and meaning of life in the same ways and while this holiday or these holidays each to everybody that celebrates them they probably signify something deeply intensely personal and and sacred so i want to honor all of that like all of it it's all great like you have a reason to celebrate you have people to celebrate with and if you don't, then it's not a pity thing. It's that I uh, I get that because I've been there. Like, I've been under a bridge for Christmas before with nobody around and, like, the pouring rain or the snow. I've been, I've, I've had to go to McDonald's for my Christmas dinner. And and I know what that's like. And I'm, I'm truly blessed to have my kids in my life this year and have both of them with presents under the tree. I just got a new iPhone for Christmas from my mom. And I didn't even have to wait for Christmas, so now I feel bad for making the girls wait for theirs. <laughs> but, um, I don't need anything to open on Christmas. It'll be fine. They're gonna have a lot to open, and I'm, I'm super happy because it's my first year. So, it being a big one is great. I didn't even spend nearly as much money on those gifts as I, I, as it would be assumed that I did. Because I am excellent at shopping. I got skills. I don't really know what else to talk about, and I could keep talking and shooting shit with you, but there's really no need. However, the birds seem to be wanting to to say, speak up, so I'm gonna... Oh, now you wanna be quiet, guys? You only wanna talk when I'm talking? Or am I just too close and it's weirding you out, and you're like, are you gonna take us out? Are you gonna feed us? Are you gonna give us water? What's going on? Yeah. But yeah, they just wanted to talk to I don't know I, I understand wanting to be included so anyway if if you have it uh, if you have it to where you don't have anywhere or anyone to spend the holidays with you know I mean you could always make a couple of sandwiches and go to the nearest city and find somebody else who's not having the greatest of holidays give them a leftover sandwich you know, I mean, there's a lot going on. There's a couple of rainbow gatherings and stuff dedicated to, um, you know, s it, supplementing the lack of blood family in some people's lives. And I, I don't think it's depressing necessarily to think about things that are not positive because, like, we're going to have to. That's work. That's we're going to have to put in the emotional labor. So I do the work and I take it head on. And I, I think that scares people. That's probably why I got the hate comment. Cause he was like, Oh my gosh, you're an idiot. It's like, um, no, I'm just thinking, sorry. If that's a threat to you, is that a threat to you? Is that why you're offended and you're calling me an idiot? Like, I don't know, I call people idiots every now and then too, but that's because, like, hey, you've had your blinker on for 30 miles, you're an idiot. <laughs> and yes, that has happened to me. Um, pray for teeth. Take me to Mexico. I need teeth. Eventually, I'll start either a Patreon or a GoFundMe for teeth, but right now, I'm just trying to focus on the store because I, I really like making money for something that I did, you know? I don't want to beg, and, like, I don't have enough followers to support the whole free teeth for me thing. Uh, I don't think that that's something that I've quite yet earned. Maybe someday, but not yet. Like, 
and hit the subscribe button if you don't hate me, if you don't think I suck. Uh, there are a million and two reasons to follow my channel, but most of them I have not yet revealed. You'll see upcoming how awesome I can be. I can be almost as awesome as, like, some of you. And I can... I definitely don't suck as much as some of you either. Just saying. Not all. I said not all of them. Uh, yeah. Just thank fucking God that I don't do a beauty tutorial channel, okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> you know, things could be worse. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.